In this video, you'll see how to connect Discord to MemberPress. To do this, you're going to need to install the Connect MemberPress to Discord plugin. This will allow you to grant your members whatever roles in Discord you want based on their membership level. You can sell exclusive access to private Discord servers on your site, for example. Say you have a Discord server set up that you only want your site members to have access to. You can do that with this plugin. So, to get started, you'll need MemberPress installed, and you'll need to have your Discord account and server set up. So, for this video, I have a sample MemberPress site and a sample Discord server here. First, I'm going to install the plugin. So, from my WordPress admin dashboard, I'm going to go to Plugins here on the left sidebar and Add New. Then I'll search for MemberPress Discord. And it's this plugin here, Connect MemberPress to Discord. I'll click to install and activate it. Then, once that's done, if I go to MemberPress here on the left sidebar, I can see a new item added for Discord settings. So I'll click that. And here, you'll see all these fields under Application Details. You'll paste in this info to connect your Discord server to MemberPress. So first, I'm going to go into the Discord developer portal that I have opened here, and then click New Application here at the top. I'll name it MemberPress, and then it'll create this app in Discord. Then I'll go to OAuth2 here on the left. Then here under Client ID, I'll click Copy to copy it. Then, going back to the plugin settings in MemberPress, I'll paste it here next to Client ID. Next, I need this client secret. So, going back, I'll click Reset Secret here. And then Yes, do it. Then I'll click Copy. Then, going back to the settings, I'll paste it here. And this redirect URL I'll leave as it is, and I'll copy it. Then, going back to Discord, under Redirects, I'll click Add Redirect. Then I'll paste it here. Then, going back to the Settings, I'll copy this Bot Auth Redirect URL. Then I'll go back to Discord, and add another Redirect, and paste it here. Then I'll click Save Changes here at the bottom to save everything so far. Next, I'll click Bot here on the left, and Add Bot. Then Yes, do it. In Discord, bots can do tasks on your server automatically, like welcome new members, add music to your server, ban people who violate your terms, and more. Visit the Discord Help Center for more information about what bots are and how they work. Okay, so I'll name the bot here. And then next, be sure to uncheck Public Bot here if you don't want this bot to be publicly available on your server. I'll uncheck this since I'm running a test. Then here under Token, click Reset Token. Then Confirm. Then copy it, and head back to the plugin settings, and paste it here next to bot token. Then going back, I'll click to save the changes. Now I'm going to go to discord.com, and since I'm already logged in, I'll see this here to open Discord. And if you're not logged in, just click login. Then it takes me to my server. I'm going to click this gear icon here to open the settings. Then here on the left, find Advanced. Then enable Developer Mode here. Now exit this. Then right click on your server icon. And then click Copy ID. Now go back to the plugin settings. And paste it here next to Server ID. Then click Save Settings. Now you'll see this button here, Connect Bot. Click on that. Then, it'll take you to this page in Discord. So I'll click to continue. Then I'll make sure these details are correct. And then select Authorize. I'll fill out this capture form. And then you can see the bot added to my server. And if I click on it, you can see that it's a bot here. So now, if I go back to the plugin settings, Click on that. You can see a list of roles your server has, and your memberships in MemberPress. I only have one role set up on my server, but here you can map your roles to your memberships, meaning you can give roles on your Discord server to users who have specific memberships. So to show you roles real quick, going back to Discord, I'll right-click on my server icon, then go to Server Settings, 
and roles. And here's the role I set up earlier that we just saw in the plugin settings. Roles in Discord allow specific users to do certain things in the server. A role can have a collection of actions that are allowed to those who have that role assigned to them. To create a new role, just click Create Role. Give it a name. Then here under Permissions is where you can assign what this role can or can't do. You can click Clear to disable them all, and then go through and manually enable what you want this role to be able to do. These can be things like view channels, send messages, create private threads, and a lot more. See Discord's Help Center to learn more about setting up roles on your server. So just to test, I'll save this role by clicking here. Now, going back to the plugin, I'll click Refresh, and you can see the new role I just created here. You can drag and drop roles over here to assign them. For example, say I want my pro members to be assigned this role. I just click on it and drag it over here like this. And then to remove it, just click and drag it back over here. But I'll drag it back though. And to save any changes, just be sure to click Save Settings. And here you'll see some other options. Default Role lets you automatically assign a role to a user once they sign up for a membership, regardless of what membership it is. You can leave this set to None or choose a role. You could create a role with very basic functionality and choose it here if you wanted to. Then you could create separate roles for your different membership tiers. But I'll just leave mine set to None. And if this Allow Non-Members is left set to Yes, then all users on your site will be able to connect to your Discord server, regardless of if they have a membership or not. They'll also get your default role set here. So I'm going to set this to No. And again, be sure to click Save Settings if you make any changes here on this page. And here in the plugin, you'll see some other tabs with some more options. I won't go into too much detail in this video, but if you go to the Advanced tab here, you can modify the direct welcome message sent to users, membership expiration warning message, membership expired message, and membership cancel message. You can choose to send them or not and customize the messages. You'll also see this shortcode that lets you display the Connect Discord button anywhere on your site. And we'll see this button in a bit. And you'll see some other more advanced options here too. And then under Appearance, you can change the look and text of that button. So next, I'm going to show you how your members will actually connect to your Discord server. Once someone becomes a member on your site, they'll see a button to connect to your Discord server on their member account page, which is set up by MemberPress automatically and is found at your site slash account by default. You can also use the shortcode that we just saw to put the button anywhere on your site, so you can create a custom way for members to get it. So I'm going to open my site in a new incognito window, so I'm not logged in as my site's admin user. It's like I'm viewing my site as a brand new user. Then I'll click log in. And then I'll log in with a test user account that I have on my site that has a pro membership. Once I'm logged in, I'll go to the MemberPress account page. And here I'll see the option to connect to Discord. I'll click that as the test user. And you can see that it redirects me to this page to sign in. I'll sign in with another Discord account that I set up for this test user. And then I'll see this screen that says MemberPress wants to connect my Discord. I'll click Continue. And then I'm redirected to my account page. And then here the user can disconnect it if they want. And they can see their account and role here too. Now if I go to Discord as the test user, you can see that I'm in my server. Now I'll go back to this test user's MemberPress account page. And I'll click Disconnect. And their account's disconnected from my Discord server. So I'll minimize this incognito window and go back to the plugin settings in my WordPress dashboard as the site admin. Now I'll remove my role from my membership and click to save the changes. Now, when I go back to my MemberPress account page as that test user and then hit refresh, I can see the button's removed. You've now seen the basics of how to connect MemberPress to Discord. Now you can start offering private Discord servers to members and much more. You can also use Zapier to automate all kinds of tasks between MemberPress and Discord as well. Visit this page on the Zapier website and see our video and support docs on MemberPress's Zapier integration for more information. And visit our knowledge base to see more information on using Discord with MemberPress and to see a full list of things that you can do with the Connect MemberPress to Discord plugin. Thanks for watching.
If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.